Hey everyone, I'm Delcy. Thank you so much for joining me. And Hallmark Christmas movies have begun airing, you know, from this year. And I just want to talk to you about one of my favorites I've seen so far. And it's called One Royal Holiday. And it stars Laura Osnes, Aaron Tveit, Crystal Joy Brown, and so many wonderful actors. I was looking forward to this movie mainly because of Aaron Tveit. I mean, he's awesome. And also, seeing him with Laura and Crystal and, you know, seeing these Broadway stars together in a movie. I mean, I love musicals, Broadway, all of that, so it was like, yes, I need to see this. And to me, it did not disappoint. I really, really enjoyed it. Spoiler alert, I'm going to be mentioning some scenes and also quotes from the movie. So it's time to fangirl a little bit. Fangirl time. I should call it fangirl time. I'm going to be mentioning some of my favorite scenes or aspects from this movie. There are many, but I'm going to mention just a few. For example, Queen Gabriella was hilarious and so much fun. Like, you know, in these types of royal movies, like, the queens tend to be somewhat serious all the time. And no, Queen Gabriella, like, from the beginning, she was fun, she was up for anything, and it was refreshing to see, you know, she had a good balance between being serious but also being fun. Sarah and Christopher, I mean, I was like, yes! I would have loved to see more of them, but you know, if this means that there's going to be a sequel, then so please, more Sarah and Christopher. <laughs> I loved James and Anna and how their dynamic would grow throughout the movie, and that dancing scene, like the first dancing scene where they're in the ballroom, they dance to the Christmas waltz. I love dance scenes and this one was amazing. And then the dance at the ball was epic and just magical. To me, it was hilarious that throughout the movie, um, <laughs> Queen Gabriella, James Christopher, and even Anna, whenever something would happen that the royals couldn't leave, they were all just so excited to stay there for one more day. <laughs> I really liked the fact that Anna and James were somewhat connected even before they met. I mean, Anna's a nurse and the King of Galwick, James's dad, was being treated at the hospital where she worked at and she actually treated him and helped him. The King passed, but now James makes the connections and throughout the movie, James was really doubtful of him being able to fill his father's shoes and and doing a good job at it since he knew that his dad was amazing at speaking and all of that. And at the end, I loved the fact that Anna reassures him like, your dad talked about you all the time and he believed in you. Like she reassures James that his dad was proud of him, that extra push that James needed. And I just love that. Also, this scene is connected to the last one I mentioned where James comes back and Anna had heard his speech, which he was so worried about throughout the movie, and she says how great it was. And he says to her, like, what was your favorite moment from the speech? And she says, the part where you left to come back to me. It's one of the most epic lines I've heard in a Hallmark movie. Julie Sherman Wolf wrote this movie, so I'm like, Laura was Cinderella on Broadway and at the end James gives her royal slippers and he's the one who puts it on her foot and it fits perfectly. And the dance that they had shared at the ball, I mean, it was this whole Cinderella moment. And I was like, yes, I am here for all of this. <laughs> I just want to say that it would be amazing to have a sequel. So please, Hallmark Channel a sequel to One Royal Holiday. Oh, and for the sequel, it would be pretty epic for Anna and James to like have a singing scene somehow, so... Now it's time for quotes. You guys know that I love quotes, so right now I'm gonna say some of my favorites. Dad, they're royalty. 
I'll give them extra towels. Someday you shall wear the fuzzy Christmas socks. There's nothing more rewarding than helping someone get better. You deserve to be happy. And one very special person showed me that I didn't need to prove myself at all. I simply needed to open my heart and be myself with all my flaws and mistakes and imperfections. What kinds of tea do they serve? The hot kind. The more women we have in charge, the better. Sometimes the best things in life sneak up on you like that. I think that's what I love about this time of year so much. Loved ones come together. It reminds you not to take each other for granted. Distance isn't an excuse to give up on happiness. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you've seen this movie. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite moment. And if you haven't seen it, you should go give it a try and check it out. See you guys on my next video. God bless. Bye.